Here's the scenario. A teenager wants to have a party. To make sure there's no drinking and driving, his parents supply the alcohol and take everyone's keys. A practice that may seem conscientious, but it's also illegal. And now a Virginia couple is doing two and a half years in jail as a result. So does the punishment fit the crime? Joining us for a fair and balanced debate, Carrie Howley of Reason Magazine and Glenn Birch of Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Carrie, I'll begin with you. Uh, this couple was originally sentenced to eight years. Now it's been reduced to two and a half. Do you think this is just or excessive? I think it's extremely excessive when you look at the facts of the case. The parents were collecting keys at the door. They didn't want anyone driving. Sixteen kids were picked up. Of those, seven had not a drop of alcohol in their bodies. Nine had consumed some alcohol, but they were well below legal intoxication levels. So. You have a situation in which, in which no one was drunk and no one was driving. And this, this is, it's not just the two years. It is hundreds of thousands of dollars in legal fees. Both of their parents are going to jail. Uh, they have, this woman has two sons. She's a stay-at-home mother, has never had even a parking infraction, and will now be in jail for over two years. Uh, Glenn, what about that? Uh, Carrie clearly feels it's ex excessive, but do you feel it sends a clear message? Well, it sends a strong message. First of all, let's look at the factors. There are probably about 44 accounts of serving to minors. Uh, they were um, trying to hide the alcohol. When the police approached them, they ran. You know, there's a, a, a many accounts that took place here, but you have to understand that it's criminal offense. Uh, they were serving minors. It's illegal. We're sending the wrong message as parents by allowing our children to drink alcohol. If you're under 21, you should not even have any alcohol. But let's look at the uh, the fact that she tried to not have anyone to drive. It's illegal. And the fact is that uh, we can't mislead our children in thinking that uh, they can party in the home um, and anywhere else. Well, Carrie, essentially what Glenn is saying is that uh, it doesn't matter what the explanation was, if they thought they were doing the kids a favor, that you can't serve alcohol to minors, you don't want them driving, and that uh, they shouldn't have lied to police. They shouldn't have lied at the scene about what was going on. They shouldn't have hidden the alcohol. Well, they certainly shouldn't have lied to other parents, but I think parents are in a really tough position at this point. They've seen the statistics. They know that kids are very, very likely to drink before they graduate from high school. They don't want to push this activity into completely unsupervised environments, empty lots, dorm rooms, residences where the parents are not home. And they want to be there to moderate consumption, to control access to vehicles. And I think sentences like this create really perverse consequences in which parents are just going to turn a blind eye because they're afraid of the law. Yeah, Glenn, what about that? Do you think you could have a situation where parents are like, I really, I can't afford prison time, I can't have any trouble with the law, I'm just, I'm just going to let my kids go do what they're going to do, even though I'm telling them not to drink? Alcohol is not a rite of passage. We understand that parenting is difficult. Um, we can't be best friends for, for our, our youth. They're looking for our guidance and our experience to understand and keep them out of danger. It's against the law, uh, and therefore we should hold them accountable. Uh, the right message was sent uh, because of uh, the misleading of parents, but also more important is 6,000 youth die yearly due to crashes. The judge took into consideration that a youth from that same high school died earlier due to underage drinking. It's a clear message, and uh, yes, we support the, uh, the strong enforcement, and uh, you can always go to our website to find out how you can uh, really uh, afford to direct your children. Okay, we'll leave it right there. Glenn Birch, uh, Carrie Halley, thank you for your time. Right now, more developments down in Raleigh, North Carolina.